I'm going to do a chain stitch. Don't mind my fingers. I've been upstairs painting and I've got paint all over the place and I couldn't scrub it clean. I'm using a gimp and this is actually a Milner's. I'm not going to bother switching. It's a non-wrap stitch, so it actually technically should be a chenille, but that's okay. So I come up with my, you know, knot in the back and I make sure that this is looping around. If you're right-handed, it's going to be looping around the other way. I go back down into close to where the hole was or in the same hole and I come out a little way ahead, right? I'm doing my basic chain stitch. And there I have my little, my first chain, my, the first link on a chain. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to do a second chain. A couple of reasons I'm doing this in GIMP. One, it's really easy to see. And the other is because I'm going to then do uh, the prompt, which was to do something else with it. some variation. Okay, so I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to end my thread and I'm going to play with this chain stitch. Now obviously there are things that have been, you know, shown all over the place. You can put like a little bead in here, you can do a little running stitch so that you just cover this area with a different color thread. When I end it, by the way, I'm just going down at the top and pulling my thread through and I'm going to make a knot. And that's how you end your, end your chain, right? Okay. But I wanted to show you something else, which was, now with GIMP, by the way, I just thread it in and out of the existing stitch. I don't have anything to bury this under, so I'm just going to do this. And, uh, and cut it off. Okay. I'm going to put that aside. And now I'm going to grab a different color. So and a different kind of thread. So I'm going to grab something and I'm going to come right back. All right, I have a thread. I'm grabbing the number 28. It's a Pearl 5 from Steph Francis. It's got enough of this other color in there um, that I think that would be fun. So I'm going to cut off a length of this. I'm going to thread a chenille, uh, number 18 chenille, and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. What I decided to do, did you all see the video I did on uh, organic shapes where I did a chain stitch in a, in a shape and then I cover it with another thread? So this is an example. Underneath the this aurora is a chain stitch and do you see under there? And then I cover it with another thread and it creates this kind of raised up. I'll put the link in the upper right corner of this. So it'll be right here, this video, and you can check that out. So I had this idea that that was fun. And what if I did something similarly, except I only did it for every other chain? And what would that look like? So I thought I'd do it on camera and we can see because I actually don't know. So what I'm doing is I'm coming up right next to that thread. And my intention is to cover this GIMP chain in this Pearl 5 cotton. I don't want to pull it in too tightly. I want to make sure that this is it's not tight but it's not loose either 
and I also want to make sure that I come in pretty close to the other stitch. If I don't do that, I'm going to get gaps, and I don't, I don't want that. Now this, if you use a hoop, this would be a good time to use a hoop. If you don't, you might experiment using a hoop, because a hoop is a great thing to, it solves a lot of, of, of issues with tension, with pulling the fabric, with not having to worry about any of that. So I'm just going to do a couple more. And then we'll see what we think. I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to go to my next chain. Uh, not the next one. So I'm skipping a link, right? So this is just one idea of a variation on a chain stitch that can be kind of fun. And of course, if you think about using different threads and you could use an Aurora from the Thread Gatherer, which is kind of fuzzy, or you could use a metallic or you could use a shepherd's silk from the thread gatherer which has also got some it's not fuzzy but it's thick you could use an eight weight thread and that would be very different or you could use something that's got like a chenille that's um got fuzz to it or anyway you get the point Now, if I want to, I can go back under here. I should have scooped my thread under. And grab this bit here. There's no reason why I can't do that. I feel like it. Now, I could even just wrap this beginning part. Right? And then I'm going to do the same up here. I'm going to tie a knot in the back because this is, well, I don't actually really have to. I can just go all the way. I'm always thinking about, oh, I'm going to waste thread. But, you know, like, whatever. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to come out again to the outer edge here just a little further than the outer edge, and I'm gonna pull him. If I'm pulling him too much, it's gonna pull the fabric. So that is actually gonna pull the fabric, so that's okay, I can make that the outer edge and then come in. So there's that. And now I'm gonna do the same over here. And I'm gonna go back down. But isn't that fun? And that is just the chain stitch and having another thread and wrapping it around. Just some thoughts. For those of you who did the prompt last week, thank you so much. I hope you posted it on Facebook. And if you want to still do it, go for it. Just um, put in your post a chain stitch prompt and we'll see it. Um, for those of you on Patreon, um, we've got another more detailed prompt for this coming week. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.